Hello Libra and welcome back to Shacy Tarot for those of you returning and for those of you brand new welcome to my channel. I hope you all had an amazing festive happy new year celebration. Happy new year. I have a feeling 2020 is going to be amazing. I truly do but let's see where you're headed. Okay now remember this is a general reading so some things may resonate some things may not. I could be picking up energies of anybody close to you that could be a loved one a family member a friend a daughter a son um, it could be a significant other if you're already married whatever the case may be I will tell you what I see in the cards and just um, however it fits your story your life then that's meant for you but don't force it to fit I'm doing the bracelet stone giveaway these are all handmade by me and you have a chance to win every month there are three winners announced every month I just finished announcing the three winners for this month so you can go ahead and check the playlists look under giveaways and you can see the previous month winners on there and uh, it tells you what it's all about as well as in the description area so don't miss out on that you've got to subscribe to the channel in order to get in on the giveaways again you pay nothing uh, it's my way of just giving back and saying thank you for being here and all of your support in 2019 I'm continuing the tradition on in 2020 again they're all made by me this is I'll give you a sample this is the I am enough okay and all of these are hand selected by me okay so there's citrine there's rose quartz smoky quartz there's lapis there's persian jade green jade tiger's eye i could go on and on i selected all these stones so that i would pick the healing stones that were the most beneficial to all of us for healing okay they are definitely positively charged by me before i ship it to you I pay for shipping and everything again there's no catch other than I pay for everything and it's just again my way of saying thank you all I ask you to do is sub subscribe to the channel which is free hit the like button hit the notification bell so that when the winners are announced you you receive notification I will do a video on YouTube as well as Facebook if you like the Facebook page follow me on Facebook or like the page leave a uh, comment or a recommendation whatever you're comfortable with or Instagram if you prefer Instagram makes no to me okay let's go ahead and get started so I'm using the 1960s deck and the 1970s deck together and the reason why I did that is uh, it's amazing how I've had in a couple of readings the two of cups come out twice yes twice in the same reading so it's pretty amazing and then I'm going to use if you do have a love interest in mind or somebody you're curious about again each one of you is gonna be different I'm gonna use my Shacy prism tarot deck to see the mutual energies between you and your love interest if you have one now if you're not getting out there to meet anybody well then you know maybe maybe you're single and you're not interested and that's fine this could all be about finance and career in your case or a friend that's close to you okay let's get started please for Libra I've already meditated on your cards okay so for Libra Sun Moon rising and Venus please spirits what does January 2020 look like oh well it looks pretty darn good to me okay wow Libra right off the top now this is Leo Sagittarius Aries Taurus Capricorn or Virgo but it doesn't have to be okay we can all have some fire earth air and water in our chart this is about a possible offer coming in it can be yes it can be definitely love and it can be finance it could be an offer of a new job something practical something that you've been waiting for perhaps but I'm feeling this is more about love but again take it how it resonates for you each one of you is going to be different this is somebody that is making an offer extremely slowly they are very meticulous they're very careful this person's not moving at all okay so it's still like almost like in the planning stages of trying to um, bring about an offer perhaps a, you know a commitment very stable grounded offer but someone's not trusting it or someone's being very careful and very guarded here it could be you it could be your love interest quite often I pick up the love interest energy but it could definitely be both of you and again with the Shacy prism I will check to see the mutual energies between the two of you let's keep going here for Libra please Sun Moon Rising and Venus why is the nine of wands here for Libra clarify the nine of wands for Libra why is the nine of wands here so you may be not trusting this offer okay or you may be guarding and protecting your heart you're just being on the cautious side I feel okay next card out okay six of cups you you know this could this is often soulmate energy with the six of cups or you're thinking about somebody from your past or they're thinking about you uh, they have very fond memories of you and if this isn't someone from your past could just see be somebody that you've met 
uh, maybe from your childhood or somebody you just get that you know that feeling that soulmate feeling as soon as you meet them you just you feel this connection that you just can't quite you can't quite shake it that's that kind of person but this can also mean that children are involved and maybe somebody is guarding or protecting their heart or being protective over their children um, that could be but more or less I'm feeling that this is somebody kind of coming in extremely slowly because maybe you are guarded and they're trying to make you an offer and it's solid and it's committed and it's very serious when the knight of pentacles come in this is serious energy this person is solid they're grounded okay they mean what they say they say what they mean this is somebody that is extremely slow you could say this horse isn't moving at all but you can also say that when this offer does come to you it's very well thought out because they have moved so slowly, which means that they've they've thought about it. They've thought about it with a great deal of effort. And, um, you know, they want to offer you this very childlike, sweet cup here. They think of you very sweetly. But they may be moving slow towards you because they, they are worried that you're guarded. Or maybe they are and they're just being very careful. Maybe you've set boundaries. Maybe you've set your boundaries now. So they're just kind of tiptoeing here with their horse or not moving at all in this case because they know that you're you're just very guarded perhaps right now. You're not maybe trusting them, okay? But the way I'm seeing the Six of Cups and with the other two cards is that they are very sincere here. They think of you very, um, very fondly, very nostalgically. Uh, they want to offer you this cup, you know, there's, there's all these other cups here. Do you see all these other cups? But they're offering this cup to you or you to them. Remember, it can be vice versa and it can crisscross over. Let's go ahead and let's clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Why are you so slow, Mr. or Mrs. Knight of Pentacles? Remember, it's not gender specific. Wow. Okay, look at this. This is about reunion, celebration, getting together. Okay, so... They want to reunite with you. They feel that you are their soulmate, okay, their other half. That's how I'm seeing this. And again, yeah, they are totally tiptoeing here because they feel that you've set up boundaries or you're guarding yourself here. But they, I feel they want to reunite and celebrate with you here, okay? We just celebrated New Year's. This may have already happened or this may happen in the future, Let's go ahead. We're going to keep clarifying here. Now, if this resonates for you, fantastic. You know, you may want to check out the extended video. For those of you that are brand new, I always continue this reading on Vimeo for a small purchase price. It's very inexpensive, but if this is resonating for you, that might be all you want to check out. And it's another 15 plus or minus minutes. Okay, so definitely check the link out in the description box. I'll also pin it in the comments below. Why is the Six of Cups here? What is the significance, please? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Libra, this is what I'm seeing. You definitely may be guarded and your person knows it, okay? They want to offer you a gift or an apology. Maybe something happened in the past you're not very happy about and so you're like, okay, here I am. Speak to me through these wands and don't cross over until you come to me right or you tell me what I need to know. Like, I truly feel it's either you or they are protecting yourself, your heart, you're just being careful. Um, this is soulmate energy though with that six of six of cups here and somebody's definitely you know this is a messenger a messenger of love somebody may be actually wanting to come in again and reunite with you see you celebrate with you you know maybe they want to celebrate the new year with you I don't know but they definitely are thinking fondly about you and they may want to give you a gift or apologize for maybe something that happened in the past that could be Okay, because for some reason you're guarded here. If it's not them, it's it's you or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. But this is about not trusting, kind of just saying, you know, talk to me through this fence. <laughs> Sorry, but that's kind of, that's how I'm seeing it here. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's keep going here. Let's clarify that three of, oh, look, OMG, look at this Libra, this looks great. This looks beautiful. It really does. That is the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands. 
I feel somebody wants to communicate with you. If they're at a distance from you, they actually may take physical travel here. Flying through the air comes to mind. Maybe they're taking a plane. If not, this is communication through the airways, the messenger or however it is you communicate text, but they're wanting to come together with you. And this is about, again, twin flame soulmate energy here. Okay, because I feel this is being guided by the angels trying to bring two people together. You see those angels wing? Trying to bring these two people here together to share this cup. They're offering you their cup and the universe is either tapping them or you on the shoulder and trying to get you to come together here and communicate. Okay, so they expect possible communication here, apology or gift. That's what I'm seeing here. I have a feeling that the angels know perhaps either you or they or both of you are kind of a little bit guarded or not trusting this right now. I feel it's more you, but it could be vice versa. And so I feel the universe is trying to bring you together to communicate to one another, to open up, to, to let this guard down, okay? To trust that this person is very serious because the reason why I say that is this person is solid. They're solid. This is not a type of knight here that messes around. This is somebody that wants something grounded. This is somebody that's traditional, okay? This is how I'm feeling. This is definitely a love reading because we've got the two of cups. We've got soulmate energy here. This is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. I have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, okay? Wow. They could have that in their chart, but wow, this is beautiful. This is looking really, really nice here. Very nice energy here. Okay, let's keep going. Expect some communication, that's what I'm seeing. We're gonna go ahead and get the mutual energies between the two of you. What are the mutual energies? How, are the, how is Libra and their love interest viewing one another, feeling about one another mutually? Please spirits, how are they mirroring one another? January, 2020. Trying to keep your cards straight, but honestly, I get so excited when I'm doing these readings. Wow. Planning, looking ahead, focus. So your person and you, could be both of you, again, was moving very slowly because maybe they were planning and it takes, it's a very slow process when they're planning. Or maybe they were planning, looking ahead to the future and very focused and maybe they were so slow in coming or have been slow in coming that they want to apologize and bring you a gift because they've just, they've been working on planning the future and that takes time, okay? But again, expect some communication. This is all about communication right here. And this is soulmate again, twin flame energy with that two of cups. This is a very deep, soulful connected love here. Extremely deep here, angelically guided, I'm feeling. We're gonna keep going though. All right, let's get a couple more cards and then you can meet me over on Vimeo. Oh, wow, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Hello, Two of Cups. Double confirmation of that Two of Cups here. That is a deep love between both of you. You are both feeling it here. That's how I'm seeing this right here. Wow, that is deep. Libra, that is very deep. Oh, jumping out, wow. Okay, there you go. This is a messenger messenger of truth okay this can also be about contracts you know if this is a job which again <laughs> i don't think so this looks about this is communication of a deep love here it could be a partnership okay a contract a celebration of that new contract a new job a new business definitely it could be but i'm feeling this is mostly about love but take it how it resonates for you okay this is a messenger of love a possible apology and speaking the truth here bringing in a message of truth here or they could be checking in on you you on them either way there's communication i feel and a gift possible apology telling the truth about something maybe you know there's a reason why you were so guarded or not trusting this and they're going to i feel explain themselves or try to <laughs> Whatever the case may be, this is beautiful. They are very serious. This is a very deep love. There's love between both of you here. There is. There is no way the Two of Cups shows up here twice just like that with that Six of Cups. This is beautiful. Okay, one more mutual energy between the two of you. Then you can meet me over on Vimeo if you wish to do so. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Don't forget the bracelet giveaway. Oh, what's falling out? Oh, look at this. Growth. 
awakening. Oh, wow. Spiritual awakening, new future, fresh start and growth. It is a new year. This is a new year and a fresh start. They want growth. They've been planning ahead and they want growth in your relationship. And I feel they're coming to communicate. If they're at a distance from you, if not, this is through text messenger or in person. Wow, this is beautiful. Awesome. I hope this resonates for you. This looks amazing so far. Let's see where we're going forward with this communication or possible travel here. Let's see if we can dig a lot deeper. Let's see if this Knight of Pentacles is going to move his little butt ski there, <laughs> he or she. I think they are, but we need to find out more because again, somebody here is is a bit on the guarded side. So we're gonna still clarify this some more. Now in the extended, I'm going to pull the fairy tarot deck as well and i'm going to do a pick a card with the romance angel see what the love messages are for you for january 2020 and i'm going to see if there's any guidance messages from the universe that you need to hear for your guide highest good so with that being said i thank you again so much for all of your support in 2019 please continue to support our channel in 2020 my girls and i truly appreciate it, it helps the channel to grow helps these videos to circulate which definitely helps others hear these messages and if it's helping you then why not share and help others because you know um it definitely helps all of us on our journey so if it's helping you guide you then definitely share these messages it'd be fantastic thank you so much for those of you meeting my vimeo i will see you there in a moment for those of you leaving me now i thank you again and i will see you next time namaste